All right, guys. Uh, good evening. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being on time. Once again, I'm good, going... evening. good evening, everybody. Good All right. Evening, yes, good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for being on time. And we will try to explain the the previous topics, right, that we've been checking or that you guys are that you guys already checked with the previous uh with the previous teacher right so i was checking i was checking some topics related to simple pass and the topic that we checked yesterday right so that was uh eight things that we hate to do all right so do you remember about that right so now let me just go ahead and double check and share some information with you Okay, so remember, guys, that if you don't understand or if you don't tap the, I mean, if you don't catch the idea, all right, so raise your hand and tell me, mister, could you please repeat that one more time? Because I don't understand what are you talking about, okay? Because sometimes, uh, I don't know if that situation happens to you, that, that you are talking so fast. No sé si les pasa que de repente como que le dan volumen y, y solo uno... Bueno, uno no, 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 no escucha o no entiende o, o no capta que está hablando bien rápido y está hablando bien fuerte, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, if, if that situation happens, raise your, raise your hand and tell me, hey, slow down, mister, slow down, because you're talking too fast, all right? So, espero que me, me, me ponga freno ahí, ¿verdad? Si esa situación sucede. Permítame, voy a compartir algo en este momento. Second, let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Let's see. Okay. All right. Are you able to see what I'm what I'm what I'm checking at this moment, guys? Yes. No. Yes, coach. Very good. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Excellent. Give me one second. Let me close this. All right. All right. So every time that we start classes, right, guys, every time that you guys are doing something, we need to be motivated, right? So in this case, uh, today is Thursday, right? So the week is like this already. Tomorrow is Friday and that would be it. Okay. So I don't know if you work, if you, if we have to work tomorrow or just today is the last day to Monday. Hasta hoy trabajamos de you guys are working from Monday to Friday or from Monday to to Thursday. Thir Thursday. Okay, today is the last day, all right? Thursday. So, okay, let's go ahead and double check this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Solo de que porque nos quedaron dependiente una clase el día martes, creo que la vamos a recibir el día viernes. Ah, um, no Solo problema. por esta semana. No worries, no worries. De, ah, de las demás semanas de lunes a, a jueves, Monday. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you, uh, Francisco. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and start the classes. Let's uh, repeat, everybody repeat uh, motivation. Come on, let's go, motivation. Let's repeat it. Go ahead. Motivation. 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 Thank you, thank you. Very good, very good. We need to be motivated, right? Every time that we are learning something, we need to be motivated. And the quote from today would be the next one. So let's see, uh, let me read it for you and then you guys are going to help me, okay? So it says like this, push, your, uh, push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. One more time, push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Now repeat it, everybody repeat it all together. Push yourself. Because no one else is going to do it for you. No one else. Very good. So probably, probably, usted decir, no se entiende nada, verdad? Todos estamos hablando en en discordia. Todos estamos teniendo, no tenemos el mismo el mismo tiempo para hablar. Pero no worries, no worries. What I'm, what I like to hear. Or what I'm trying to do is that you need to talk, you need to practice, you need to repeat everything that a, any teacher is talking or is or or is explaining at the same time. Okay, so so now in my case, let me explain this. Right, when somebody says, 
push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you is because you need to push yourself. What did that mean? That, that que usted se tiene que forzar más, all right? So, nadie más lo va a hacer por usted. Si usted está, viene a trabajar ahorita, yo sé que no, no, se, no, se, ha, no se ha ni cambiado y está este ni ha cenado o está cenando al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, ese tema va con usted en este momento, ¿verdad? Push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Pero si usted quiere, no, si quiere perder la clase, se puede ir a, se puede ir, o sea, no, don't get me wrong, right? No me lo tome a mal. Este, no, no quiero ser, no, soy, no es sarcasmo, ¿verdad? Pero si se quiere ir a acostar, pues lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces ya queda a opción suya que usted no se quiera esforzar, ¿all right? So now, let's repeat one more time. Push yourself. Push yourself. Because no one else. Because no one else. Is going to do it for you. Is going, going to, to do, do it, it for, for you. you. Very good, very good. So, uh, how many of you are? I believe everybody's working, right? So, all of you work, right? So, everybody's everybody. I mean, some of you are working, some others are coming from work, and some others are basically having the days, uh, the day off today, right? Creo que unos, unos trabajaron ahora, otros van a trabajar mañana y otros están en su día, en su día libre, correcto. Everybody works. All right, so now quiero ver un quiero ver un like que usted se va a esforzar porque nadie más lo va a hacer. No lo va a hacer ni ni la niña Juanita, ni ni don ni don ni don Carlos, ni don Julio. Excuse me. Usted, usted mismo lo tiene que hacer. All right, very good. I see a lot of hands over there. Yes, Lisa, tell me. Do you have a question, uh, Lisa? No question? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Let's see. Let me put this over here. <clears throat> and now I don't know if you do have access to see the the the, the tongue twister. Yes. No, no me interfiere. Can we can we check this? Yes. All right. Hold on one second. Let me uh, <clears throat> make it shorter. Let's see. All right. All right. So now let me just read this tongue twister. Why is the reason that we need to read this? Is because remember that we need to practice. All right. So let me read it for you, and then uh, some of you are going to help me to repeat it. Okay. So the P sound. Tongue twister. Okay, let's repeat. The P sound. The P sound. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. All right, let me repeat it first and then you help me, okay? So, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickles, peppers, a peck of pickles, peppers. Peter Piper picked if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickles, peppers. Where's where's the peck of pickles, peppers, Peter Pie, Piper pick? All right, so if you see, hay problemitas, ¿verdad? Hay problemitas, pero that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see. Los primeros que veo son los que, los que van a, a leerme el, el tongue twister. Wilbur, be my guest. Go ahead. Okay. Peter Piper pick up a peck of pickles, peppers, a pick of Peter, Peter, Peter Piper pickets. If Peter Piper pickets a pick of pickles, peppers, where's the pick of pickles? Pick, peppers, Peter Piper's pickles. Excellent. All right. So let's see. Uh, Iris, Milena, go ahead. Be my guest. Peter Piper pickle a pick of Michael Pip Piper a pick of pickle pepper. Peter Piper pickle if it Peter Piper pickle a pick of pickle peppers. Where's the pick of pickle peppers? Pepper Piper pickle. Excellent. Excellent, very good. Uh, Francisco, please go ahead. <clears throat> Peter, Piper, Pickle, 
a pick of pickle peppers, a pick of pickle pepper, Peter pepper, pickle, if Peter pepper, pickle, a pickle, a pick of pickle pepper, where's the pick of pickle peppers, Peter pepper, pickle. Very good, very good. Serena, please go ahead. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers, a pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked his feather. Piper picked a pet of pickled peppers. Where's the pick of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Thank you, Carlos. Please go ahead. Be my guest. Carlos Mario. <laughs> Peter Piper picks a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If pip, if Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers, where's the pick of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Very good, excellent. Uh, Doris, Emilia, uh, Emilia, please be my guest. Go ahead. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. A uh, pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. Where's Break. the pick of pickled? Very good. Uh, Jennifer, please be my guest. Go ahead. Uh, Peter Piper pickled a pick of pickled pipers, a pick of pickled pipers. Peter uh, Piper, Piper pickle, if Peter Piper pickle, a pick of pickled pipers. Where is the pick of pickle pipers? Peter Piper pickle. Okay. Thank you, William. Please be my guest, uh, William Vladimir. Peter, Peter, picked a pick of pickles, peppers, a pick of pickles, pepper, Peter, Peter, picked of Peter, Peter, picked a pick of pickles, a pepper. Where's the pink of pickles? Pepper, pepper, pepper. Very good, very good. Thank you. Uh, Karen, with a loop, please be my guest. Go ahead. Peter Pepper picked a pack of pickled peppers, a pick of pickled peppers. Peter Pepper picked a Peter Pepper picked of pick of pickled peppers. Where's the pick of pickled peppers? Peter Pepper picked. Very good, excellent. Camille, uh, Camila, Lisette, please. Peter Piper picked a pit of pickle, Piper a pit of pickle, papers. Piper, Peter pickle, if Peter Piper picked a pit of pickle, papers, where is the pit of pickle, papers, Peter Piper pickle? Thank you. Uh, Luis Antonio, please. Go ahead. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled papers. A pack of pickled papers. Peter, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled papers, what's the pack of pickled papers Peter Piper pick? Thank, thank you. Uh, Lisette Alvarado, please. Go ahead. Peter Piper pick a Okay, a pick of picker, pepper, a pick, picker, pepper, pizza, pepper, pickle. It's pizza, pepper, pizza, pick of picker, pepper, the pink of picker, pepper, picker. Thank you, uh, Jose David. Peter, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled papers, a pack of 
pickle papers, Peter Piper, picket if Peter Piper picked a peg of pickle papers, where's the peg of pickle papers, Peter Piper pickle? Thank you very much. Give me one second. All right, so let's see Hola. somebody, Eva. Okay, go ahead, Eva. Peter Piper picked a pet of Peter Piper a pet of Peter Piper Peter Piper Peter Peter Piper Peter a pick of pickets Peter's Where's the pep of picker? Paper, Peter, Paper, Picker. Very good. Uh, let's see who else is now has not participated yet. Let's see Mauricio Enrique Lopez. Go ahead. Peter, Paper, Picket, a pick of Picket, Peepers, a, a pick of Picket, Peepers, Peter, Peeper, Peeper. If Peter Piper picked a pick of picket peepers, where's the pick of picket peepers? Peter Piper picket. All right, guys, now let's repeat uh, Peter. 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 Everybody, Peter. 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 Piper. 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 Pick. Piper. 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 All right, and that's the reason that we need to be using tongue twisters, right? Every time I already told you that this is a good exercise for you, double check for you, uh, double check everything about the sounds that you need to practice. Porque le hago saber esto para la próxima vez usted dice, ah, el pronunció mal. Uh, por ejemplo, usted va a escuchar a alguien que va a decir, en vez de decir Peter, va a haber algún día que usted va a escuchar que alguien dice Peter. Porque no saben, es la primera vez que ellos pronuncian una palabra. Es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Es bien así, bien, bien, bien gracioso, ¿verdad? Pero es un ejemplo. Como usted lo puede mencionar, uh, Peter, ahí lo, lo pueden pronunciar Peter o, Pe o, o Peter, ¿verdad? Lo pueden pronunciar así, pero no es, la, la pronunciación correcta es Peter, right? Peter, all right? So, very good, very good. All right, so, ¿y qué, quieres, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Que Pedro, eh, perdón, Peter Piper, que sería la, como el, el apellido, ¿verdad? Como Piper es como un, como le digo, algo relacionado a la, a la tubería, pero es como, en este caso es apellido. ¿verdad? Peter Piper recogió un picotazo de pimientos encurtidos. Un picotazo de pimientos encurtidos, Peter Piper recogió. Si Peter Piper recogió un picotazo de pimientos Encurtidos, ¿dónde está el picotazo de pimientos encurtidos que recogió Peter Piper? Ok, so, esa es la traducción que usted la puede tomar siempre para que usted tenga idea de lo que está hablando, ¿verdad? Very good, ok, so now let's jump to our classes, give me one second, let me stop the recurrent, I mean the, the sharing part over here, and let me go ahead and review what we were checking yesterday, right? So let's see, give me one second. Let me pass this over here. All right, so I I do understand that you guys uh, already checked this topic, right? Uh, re in regular verbs, in regular verbs, simple past, simple present, simple future. Remember, every time that you are talking, you need to identify, you need to have your active listening. Por esa razón se llama active listening. Tiene que tenerlo activo, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué razón? Porque cuando alguien le está preguntando algo, usted tiene que contestarme de la manera que es. 
y contestarme con los verbos que son, ¿verdad? Si yo le digo a uh, eh, Doris, what are you going to do after this class? What are you going to do after this class? What would be your answer? Lo que, lo que pueda, no se preocupe. Uh, good night. Good evening. I... Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to bed and rest. Very good. Very good. You see? Pero usted escuchó, ¿verdad? Que yo le dije, what are, you go what are you going to do after this class? I am, remember, every time that you guys are talking or every every time that you guys are establishing or if, if you establish a conversation with anybody around you, in front of you, you need to acknowledge lo que le decía ayer, ¿verdad? Cuando yo le dije, what are you going to do after this class, Doris? Okay. So, ya sabemos que la, la oración va compuesta por tres factores. ¿Cuáles son? Subject. 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 Verb. Verb. Complement. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. My class. Right on. All right. Very good. All right. If you already know that every uh, sentence components, components, right, are three of them. So you need to, you know, uh, you need to double check what's going on with the things that you guys are going to talk or express, right? So, so if I say, what are you going to do tonight, guys, after this class? Francisco, what are you going to do after this class? I'm going to, after this class, uh, watch TV. I'm going to watch TV. Very good, very good. What about you, Jose? David, what are you going to do after this class? Uh, I'm going to do the homework. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do my homework. Okay, very good. What about you, Luis Alberto? What are you going to do after this class? I am going, Luis Alberto, I am going. Stay mute. I, I am going. I am going to, dígame, ¿qué va a hacer? What are you going to do after this class, uh, Luis Alberto? I am going to, to, to you. I am going to sleep. I am going to watch TV. I am going to eat. One Remember, to I, I am going to eat. Very good, very good. Remember, sí. don't be afraid. No se sienta así como, como que, que no le dé pena. No, no, no. <laughs> por, por eso los hago, los hago hablar con con el motivation part y el tongue twister para que se sí, me le quite, es, para que se me le quite me el miedo como pronunciarlo bien las palabras ya va a aprender no se preocupe ya va sí, a aprender sí, sí. no worries no worries no worries okay so okay. let's see uh, Wilbur what are you going to do after this class I'm going to do I'm going to do dinner I'm going to cook some dinner, okay? I'm going to do, I'm going to cook some dinner, okay? Very good. Uh, Camila, Lisette, what are you going to do after this class? I'm going to read a book. I'm going to read a book. Very good. Iris, what are you going to do? I am going to sleep. I am going to sleep. Very good. Krisha, what are you going to do? I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to take a shower. I sleep. Yes. And and then I'm going to sleep. Very good. Then... I'm going to sleep. Very good. Very good. You see, guys, every time that you talk, try to use the connectors. Try to use the connectors. I don't know if you already if you already know what the connectors are, but we're going to discuss real quick what the connectors are, right? The connectors that we should use in our daily basis or in our conversations are some of them, right? But and then okay, what else uh and some prepositions right after before uh let's see what else mm, also. also besides besides after that i'm sorry after that 
after that yeah after that yes okay so why i'm telling why i'm telling you this guys because you need to sound really nice en lo que más se pueda que usted perdón en lo que se pueda uh, sonar no sé si es la palabra en lo que usted pueda escucharse mejor valga la redundancia va a ser más que excelente verdad por qué razón a veces sonamos un poco así como que ahorita somos unos bebés verdad que tenemos tres meses, ¿verdad? Tres meses y estamos diciendo, apenas estamos diciendo papá, mamá, hermano, hijo, estamos y, y se ha fijado que los bebés dicen papá, papá, papá y le hacen así, ¿verdad? Y usted dice, ah, quiere comer el niño, ¿verdad? Pero usted, ese es un sentido figurado, all right So, uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that, for example, if you said, if I am, if I, if I am talking to you, I am using some connectors. Why? Because my conversation, my expressions are going to sound better. ¿Verdad? Usted dice, also, then, and, after that, before, besides, además de, ¿verdad? Besides, todas esas cositas, o oh, however, usted puede mencionar, however, sin embargo, esos son conectores que usted va a utilizar en sus uh, conversaciones. Bueno, if you see from one topic, we jump to a different topic, all right? So, irregular verbs, definition and meaning. Dice así, ¿verdad? Se lo voy a leer rápido. Okay, dice, a verb in which the past tense is not formed by adding the usual ed ending examples or irregular verbs are seen, past tense, sun, right? Feel, felt, and go, went. Más fácil, como más clarito que el agua, no está mejor explicado en esta parte, ¿verdad? Permítame, yo creo que me escribió, estoy como bebé en inglés. <laughs> no, everybody, todos estamos así, no se preocupe. We will learn, okay? So, remember, every time that you are talking, you need to figure out which verb we are going to use. Si yo le digo, uh, let me see, quiero que uh, casi, que no, no sean conectados, no todos están con las cámaras on. All right, let's see. Si yo le pregunto a Wendy Lisette, Wendy, what do you what do you do? What do you do last weekend? What would be your answer? I visited my parents. I visited my parents. Very good. Escucharon como dijo Wendy? I visited. No dijo I visit. Dijo I visited. All right. I visit. All right. I visited. All right, so I visited my parents. Very good, very good answer, okay? So, ¿por qué me contestó así? Porque yo le pregunté eh, cosas en pasado. O sea, el did remember que es para hacer preguntas que usted ha hecho, que, que ha hecho usted, ¿verdad? O sea, si yo le digo, quiero ver, vamos a ver a, a, a alguien que no esté conectado. A uh, Yesenia Palacios, si yo le pregunto, uh, did you eat already, Yesenia? Creo que se fue yes. Ah, yes, what? Repeat, please. Ah, yes. No worries, no worries. Did you eat your your dinner already? Did you eat yes, your I dinner? Am, um, I am eating my, my dinner right now. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so, pero en este caso, acuérdese que el did es el auxiliar okay. que no cambia el perdón, que no cambia el verbo, all right, si se fija yo le dije, did you eat, entonces, ¿qué decíamos ayer?, ¿cuáles eran las respuestas?, ¿se acuerda yes, que acá I está?, did. Yes, yes, I did. Did. yes, I did, yes, I did, all right, so, all right, so, teníamos acá, ¿verdad?, que le preguntaba, le preguntaba a Michael, a Jennifer, did you have a good weekend?, yes, I did, no, I didn't, esas pueden ser las respuestas, ¿verdad?, yes, I did, no, I didn't, very good. All right, so nos venimos acá y tenemos otra definición, ¿verdad? Respecto a, a los uh, irregular verbs que tenemos. Dice, irregular verbs are, I'm sorry, irregular verbs are verbs that do not follow the normal par patterns for tense and past participle, while most English regular verbs use the ending ed. All right, esta es una definición que no lo quiero confundir, ¿verdad? Usted lo puede, lo puede, este, verificar en su tiempo libre. Yo les voy a mandar estas, um, 
estas PowerPoint presentations para que usted las tenga y las, no las no la guarde, ¿verdad? Para que las, las, las repase, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos acá otros ejemplos, ¿verdad? De irregular verbs, lo que le decía yo ayer, ¿verdad? Aquí dice, I studied, all right? You watch, she stayed, we visit, you shop, they exercise. All right, so on Sunday, TV all weekend, y aquí está el complemento, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted se fija, aquí estamos hablando en presente, pasado o futuro. Pasado. Past, pasado. right? Past, right? Past. Pasado. Why? Why? Because. Uh -huh. Because. Because the verb, right? The, the, the base form changed, correct? All right, so if we have a study, all right, the base form, I mean, if we have a study, it, all right, so let's see, give me one second, let me do this over here. Maybe I can do this. Just a moment, let's see. Okay, no sé por qué se me ha puesto así, permítame un momento. Okay, over here. All right, so the base form, sería cual? Study, right? So every time that somebody is, is explaining or is, uh, yeah, every time that somebody is, is telling you uh, what is uh, the base form of the verb, acuérdese que es la base, la, 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 uh, la forma base del verbo tiene que ser la que no está ni conjugada ni compuesta por otros, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Por otras uh, consonantes. En este caso, uh, the base form of a study is a study, right? So, but the past will be studied all right the the base form of the base form of watch what it's watch right solo watch like this watch and on and on and on usted lo puede ir ahí uh, dándole sentido a estas estas cosas permítame vamos a limpiar acá okay so and let's see do you have any questions so far about this? Oh, remember that I told you yesterday, right? So didn't is the same thing. If you heard somebody saying, or if you see something in paper, si mira algo en papel, o alguien que dice didn't, es lo mismo decir did not. I did not. All right? So usted puede contestar de las de las dos maneras, como se le haga más factible a usted. A veces son como, yo los tomo como plan A, plan B, ¿verdad? Porque a veces se nos olvida. Cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés, it's kind of hard to learn a lot of information. ¿Verdad? Y los felicito a ustedes porque están acá y es un grupo bien grande que todos están aprendiendo. ¿Verdad? Entonces los felicito porque créanme de que en, la, en el primer mes se va mucha gente. Porque ya, o sea, el maestro pues siempre les dice, tiende, tenemos, tenemos que decirles que hay mucha información que aprender. Pero si usted se pone las pilas, usted lo va a hacer rápido, okay? So now, some irregular verbs, it says like this, right? I slept late on Saturday. Let's repeat. I slept late on Saturday. I slept, I slept late, late on Saturday. Saturday. I got up at 10, read the newspaper, and ate breakfast. I got up at 10, read the newspaper, and ate breakfast. Okay, we saw a movie. We saw, we saw a, movie. a movie. We bought popcorn, drank some soda, and had a lot of fun. We bought a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I met a friend at the uh, at the park. I met a friend at the park and went jogging. Then I came home and felt and felt really tired. And when I came home and felt really tired. Really tired. Okay, so as you can see, guys, they are talking and past, right? Irregular verbs. All right, the base form is regular, pero se convierte en irregular verbs con el pasado, ¿verdad? I slept, es el regular, sería sleep, right? 
I slept late on Saturday. I got up at 10. Si se fija, los tres están hablando. Todo en pasado. Espérame, creo que tenemos problemitas with the Excuse audio. Me. Yes. Se escucha bien feo un sonido. Yes. Ahorita eso estoy viendo. Lo voy a, lo voy a poner en mute, permíteme. All right, so. All right, so. If you have a question, just uh, talk to me and I uh, will let you ask the, the question, all right? So, lo que pasa es que está, está, están abiertos todos los micrófonos y mucha, mucho feedback, okay? So, as you can see, guys, they are talking or this conversation or this di dialogue is, I mean, if you see, as you can see, they are talking in past. Todos lo, lo que están, toda la conversación es en, en pasado. Por eso tenemos que tener mucho cuidado cuando alguien les pregunte algo, ¿verdad? All right, si sí, yo les pregunto, how you guys feel? How do you feel, Nidia? How do you feel today? Talk to me. How do you feel? How do you feel I today? I am feel now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, go ahead. How do you feel? No entiendo. How do, you feel, how do you feel? Okay, si yo le pregunto, how do you feel? Es como, ¿cómo te sientes? Pero está presente, estamos hablando presente, ¿verdad? All right, how do you feel? How do you feel tonight? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, you know, I'm feeling good, me estoy sintiendo bien, very good. I'm feeling tired, you know, I feel so, so bad. Entonces, o sea, hay muchas, muchas maneras de contestar. What I'm trying to explain is that you need to understand the question, the question. And if you don't understand the question, try to ask me or ask the person that is asking you the questions. Could you please repeat that? I didn't hear you. ¿Verdad? A pesar que tal vez no le entendió, pero usted pregunte, le diga, plan B, ¿verdad? I'm sorry, could you please repeat that one more time? Oh, yes. How do you feel? I mean, do you feel good? Do you feel bad? I mean, how are you feeling? How are you feeling tonight? Oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Very good. Thank you. Tomorrow is Friday and, you know, I, I think I'm going to do a lot of things. Very good. Okay. So now let me double check. Let's see. As you can see here. Let me come on. Vamos a ver. All right, so, for example, if I if the things that I that I was asking you or or trying to explain yesterday, all right, and today it's what did you do last week or weekend, all right? Talk to your partner, tell him her four things that you did and four things that you didn't do, all right? So now let me just send you real quick to the the break rooms. Let me double check. Let's see. And try to ask your partner, all right? Try, try to ask your partner at least four things that you did and four things that you didn't do. Trate de preguntarle cuatro cosas que usted hizo y cuatro cosas que usted no hizo, okay? Give me one second. We are 26, 25. Let's see. Let me send you over right now. Ahí me aceptan. Join, please. Break the rooms. Let's see. One two, three, four, five, eight. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, vamos a ver. Van grupos de tres y hay unos grupos uno grupo de dos. Y ahí me aceptan join, please. Lo voy a mandar dos minutos. Y preguntan cuatro cosas que hicieron y cuatro cosas que no hicieron. ¿Cuál es el tipo de pregunta que va a hacer? Lo que está aquí. What did you do last weekend? Or last week. All right. What you didn't do last weekend. That would be las cosas que no hizo. Okay. Let's go. Join, please. Join, join, join.
market. I I watch TV. Um, I washed a clothes. Um, I didn't drink. Me escucha, Doris. Doris, are you there? I think she didn't, I mean, she's not, she's not there, but no worries. Let me ask you, Pamela, what did you do last weekend? Last weekend, I did you wake up 6 a.m. and listen to music. Okay. Um, what you didn't do? Um, visit my family. All right, and what you didn't do? What things you didn't do? Do what things? Know. What things you didn't do? Remember, si yo, te, yo le pregunto, what things did you do? Es qué cosas hizo. And uh, and why you, what things you didn't do? Es cosas que no hizo. Ah, okay. Mm. Mm. And um, exercise. Workout exercises. All right, very good. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, yes, no worries. Okay, uh, very, very good, very good. I was checking some rooms and I heard that you guys were practicing, right? So that's what I'm talking about. That's what we need to do. Every time that I send you to the breaker room, you need to do that part, okay? So let's see. Let me go ahead and check the, let me pass list right now, okay? Give me one second. Let's see, one second. Just a moment. And tell me if this if this group is, is from here, okay? So uh, Adriana, Gabriela, Enriquez, Vasquez? ¿Es de acá? O soy un grupo aquí, permítame, a ver. Sí, teacher, está en el grupo correcto. Ah, está en el grupo correcto. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Ok, okay one more time. Uh, Adriana, Gabriela, Enrique, Enrique Vázquez. She's not here. Ok. Ok. All right, so Alma Patricia Rivas. Alma Patricia Rivas. Ok, she's not here. Ana Lisset Ábalos Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Brenda Esmeralda Carías Carías. Brenda Esmeralda Carías Carías. Okay, she's not here. Uh, Brian Alexander Tejada, Francia. <laughs> Brian Alexander Tejada, Francia. Me escuchan, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, hold on. All right. Let's see. Okay, Brian is not here. Okay, Camila Lisset Casum Villalta. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you miss. Uh, Carlos uh, Mario Lopez Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Doris Emilia Alfaro de Galvez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Elvis Leonel Lopez uh, Quevedo. It's not here. Okay. Uh, Estela Marisol Vasquez Diaz. Present, sir. Thank you. Let's see. Eva Alicia Costanza Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Thank you. Samuel Sanchez Corbera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Iris Milena Mejia Moran. Present. Thank you, miss. 
Elvis, Lionel López Quevedo, I'm sorry, ya lo, ya lo mencioné, este, Jennifer Elizabeth Portillo Hernández. Present. Thank you. José David Rodríguez Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Karen Guadalupe Cetino Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Okay. Uh, Crisia Dorila, Dorila Mejiva Rivera. Present. Thank you, Crisia. Uh, Luis Alberto Mejiva Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Luis, Luis Alberto Mejiva. Uh, perdón, 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 perdón. Luis Antonio Ortiz Benítez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Mauricio Enrique Crespín López. Present teacher. Thank you. Mercedes Elizabeth Barrientos de Valle, de, de Vale. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. <laughs> Nidia Yamilex Calero Trejo. I'm here. Thank you, miss. Rosa Irma Flores de Linares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Serena Susana Galvez Seren. Present, teacher. Tatiana Maria Hernandez Dubon. Present. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Cruz Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Wilbur Enrique Jacinto Martinez. Present. Thank you, sir. William Vladimir Mulato Guevara. Present. Thank you, sir. Uh, Yesenia Maribel Palacio de <laughs> Hernandez. Present. Thank you, miss. Yesenia Pamela Hernandez Arrucha. Arrucha. Arucha. Present. Thank you, man. All right. All right. A todos lo mencioné. Si no lo he mencionado, pues me, me avisa, ¿verdad? Solo los que no, los que no vinieron es a uh, Adriana Gabriel Enríquez Vázquez, Alma Patricia Rivas, este, Brenda Esmeralda Carías Carías, Ryan Alexander, Tejada Francia. Solamente, okay, very good. Let me get back on track. Sí, vamos a compartir. Just a moment. All right, now let's uh, double check, you know, our platform. I understand that you guys already checked uh, some exercises from here. Let me know if you already checked these exercises from your platform. ¿Ya chequearon esta información de la plataforma? Yes, I have. Yes. 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 Está, ya está completado. Yes. yes. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. Okay, instructions. Uh, let me let me just uh, double check this real quick. All right. So, change the verbs in parentheses to the past. To the past, complete the story. You don't need to type a period. I mean, a period. It is already placed. Okay. So, on Friday night, I what? Wait a Waited. Waited. Like this? Yes. All right. But my girlfriend didn't call. Did, didn't call. Didn't, didn't call. All right. I just stay home and watch it. Watch it. Okay. On Saturday, I visited. Visited. All right. I'm sorry. Teacher. Yes. Está mal escrito, didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Didn't. Okay. El apostrophe, me lo va a tirar malo porque el apostrophe de mi computer no lo agarra. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. All right, so we talk and listen it listen. to music. Listen it. Listen it. Listen. I'm sorry. Like this. Teacher, ahí con el apóstrofe podemos usar siempre el plan B. ¿Cuál? Copiar y pegar. No. Eh, <laughs> no, copy fish. No, 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 pero no me lo, no me lo yes, agarra. Copy no, fish. Ni, ni, ni así me lo agarra. El plan B no me lo agarra tampoco. No. Plan C, entonces, copiar y pegar. Ah, cabal. No, no me lo agarra. Thank you, thank you. No, I, I already know that. All right. In the evening, he invited some friends over 
and we cooked, right? Cooked. Cooked. I didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. I didn't study. And I just walked to the mall and stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop. 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 Yes. Stop. Yes. Me lo va a tirar todo malo porque lo puse con capital, right? No, nadie, nadie me dijo. Solo estaba viendo, pero todo lo, di, lo hice con capital. Mira. El apóstrofe. Uh, se lo tiró mal. El, eh, no tengo el apóstrofe, me lo tiró, me lo tira mal. Bro. Aparte de agregar ahí el verbo. Eh, Ajá. Correcto, correcto. O sea, bueno, así es. Did, did not call. Ok, very good, very good. No worries. All right, so let's see. And you guys already complete this one. All right. So we want to check this uh, tomorrow. All right, so, and let's get back on track. Let's see, we already checked this. Listening to music. Vamos a verificar esto. Mm -hmm. Un momento, por favor. Someone, can you can you check? Can you see what I'm checking right now, guys? No, not yet. Pueden ver lo que estoy viendo. Sí, todavía están viendo la la plataforma. Yes. yes. Okay. Stop sharing. Right. Good. <laughs> All right, so and let's complete this this part over here, guys. Let's see who's um, writing. Participant can can now see your um, PPT. Okay, so listening to listen to music. Let's repeat. Listen to music. Listen to music. Work in the yard. Work, work in, the yard. in the yard. Wash my clothes. Wash, Wash my, my clothes. clothes. Relax. Relax. Rent, rent a video. Rent, rent, rent a, video. a video. Invite friends to my house. Invite friends to my house. Cook a meal. Cook a meal. And visit my family. Visit my family. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see. You're almost there. Give me one second. One more time. When I check another PPT, you know what a PPT means, right? PPT, no. A PowerPoint presentation. All right. Yes. 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 Very good. Very good. All right. Simple past tense action verbs, right? So I do have this. I just created today. And every evening, he washes the dishes every evening. All right. So who likes to wash the dishes? I don't like that. Do you like washing dishes, Wendy Lisette? No, I'm not. No, I no, don't. I like, no, I don't like. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. What about, let's see. Um, one second. Okay, what about you, Pamela Hernandez? Do you like washing dishes every evening? No, I don't. Nobody likes that, right? So you know what I do? I like to I like to buy a paper plate. Everything is paper. Everything, everything. My house, everything is paper, and everything I dump it to the to the garbage. All right. So at that point, I don't have to worry to wash dishes. All right. Los platos están ahí de adorno. All right. So yesterday evening he washed uh, the clothes. Yesterday evening. All right. So let's repeat. He washes the dishes every Evening. He washes the dishes every evening. Every evening. Every evening. Mm -hmm. evening. Alright, so yesterday evening he wash he washed the clothes. The clothes. Yesterday evening. 
Let's repeat. He, he washed the gloves yesterday evening. Washed the gloves yesterday evening. Very good. All right. Every weekend, last weekend. All right. So I'm giving you these examples just for you to have an idea. Le estoy dando estos ejemplos para que usted tenga una idea cuando alguien le pregunta, ¿verdad? Si usted le dicen, ¿qué hiciste last weekend? O ¿qué haces every weekend? Usted ya tiene una idea. Dice, ah, oh, we go to the cinema every weekend with my girlfriend. I go to the cinema every weekend with my boyfriend, with my wife, with my husband. All right. Oh, with my friends. Usted ya tiene una idea cómo acoplar las, eh, perdón, acoplar las palabras, all right? So let's repeat. Uh, they go to the cinema every weekend. They, they go, go to the cinema every weekend. weekend. Last, last weekend. Let's repeat, last, last weekend. weekend. Last, last weekend. 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 Mm -hmm. They went to the theater last weekend. They went, went to the theater, the theater last, weekend. Weekend. last weekend. Last weekend. Last weekend. All right, so infinitive uh, verb, infinitive present, and past, right? So el infinitive, acuérdense que este es el infinitivo, ¿verdad? Como puede ser la, la base del verbo, the base form, la forma base, ¿verdad? Es el infinitivo, que es el presente, acuérdense de eso. Cuando alguien le dice, what is the infinitive of uh, played? Pues le dice, play. Ah, ok. Entonces usted ya sabe cómo contestar esa palabra, ok? So let's repeat, play. 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 Played. 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 Wash. 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 Wash it. Wash it. Go. 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 Went. Went. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. Y aquí tenemos los regular verbs. And irregular verbs as well, right? So, irregular uh, regular verbs are the ones lo que tienen el infinitivo que es este, que dice take, pero al cual le vamos a agregar el ed. All right. So, si usted se fija, hay muchas preguntas y respuestas en esta en esta clase. Yo lo entiendo, pero debido a, a que solo tenemos una hora, lo vamos a ir viendo poco a poco. Pero lo que yo le sugiero es de que se aprenda por lo menos unos diez verbos regulares y unos 10 verbos irregulares se los voy a preguntar mañana All right, si tenemos la clase se los voy a preguntar mañana 10, okay. verbos, 10 verbos regulares y 10 verbos irregulares Why? Because solamente si usted se pone esa ¿cómo se llama? si usted mismo se, se pone esa, no esa carga, pero si usted esa mismo meta. Se, esa meta, exacto así va a aprender, ¿verdad? si no, usted no va a aprender se va a quedar así como que, ah sí, entiendo no sé, no sé si se ha fijado que hay personas que dicen, no, si él entiendo todo, pero hábleme pues, hábleme. Si me entiende, me tiene que hablar, ¿verdad? No, que yo todo lo que usted, me, todo lo que está diciendo, yo lo entiendo, todito, todito, dicen. Ok, talk to me and let's see. Let's see if you understand what I'm talking about. All right. If you do understand, you should talk. All right. If you understand what I'm talking, you need to answer me back to all my questions. All right. So. All right, let's see. Aquí están verbos regulares y verbos irregulares, ¿verdad? Entonces, los irregulares, acuérdense que solamente es que cambia. El verbo, el verbo, el base form en este caso sería it. El past sería ate, ¿verdad? Entonces, hey. ese tiene, tiene que tener un gran cuidado, all right? For that reason, I'm telling you practice, practice, and remember this word. Practice, make the master. La práctica hacia el maestro. All right, so now uh, we have the spelling, the spelling in regular verbs, D, E, D. All right, so E, D, vowel, consonant, double, double the consonant. All right, so si usted tiene esta palabra, stop or travel. All right, so acuérdese de esta, de esta, de esta, ¿cómo se llama? Fórmula, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso lo vamos a continuar. Uh, tomorrow, remember that we need to complete the activities that we have uh, through our platform. Okay. So if you want, I can send you this to our WhatsApp group. ¿Verdad? Si quieren, yo le mando esta información al WhatsApp group para que usted tenga una idea más, más concreta. ¿Verdad? Y así, pues, yo sé que usted viene de trabajar y mire. Sí, todo por bien, favor, teacher. Todo bien yeah, facilito. Yes, todo bien please. facilito. All right. No, not a problem. I understand that. 
Thank you. I understand. Así hubiera querido a mí que me enseñaran el inglés, ¿verdad? Pero como no me lo han enseñado a mí, no me lo enseñaron así, pues tengo que enseñarlo de la manera que usted le gusta. Así, facilito. Usted viene a trabajar. Gracias, I'm, teacher. I'm going to give you the best advice. Uh, all right. So, all right, guys. Uh, uh, let's see. Do you have any questions? If you don't have, if we don't have classes tomorrow, coordinators are going to... I mean, they will, they will let you know what's going on, all right? So, pero yo creo que pues, si perdieron una clase con la maestra anterior, la vamos a recuperar. Sí, nos dijeron que el viernes la íbamos a recuperar. Entonces, el que tenía planes para el viernes, lo cancela, por favor, y nos vemos tomorrow. <risa> pero igual, tomorrow. teacher, en caso tomorrow. que tuviera algún compromiso para mañana, lo dejamos para el siguiente viernes. O sea, se puede recuperar la otra semana. Exactly, exactly. The thing, yeah, for me, I mean... No matter, no worries, ustedes, ustedes mandan. A mí, por, por mi, en mi caso, pues no hay ningún problema. Yo puedo trabajar, si me dicen el sábado, we work on Saturday. El sábado, Saturday, no. no tampoco, gracias. tampoco, dígame, tampoco. No, right. preferible el viernes. All right, very good. Mañana. All right, guys, tomorrow. I see you. Mañana. I see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Bye. have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take it easy. Take Bye. It easy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good tomorrow. Thank you, night. Yeah. Good night, guys. Take it easy. Good night, guys. Take it easy. Thank you so much. Good night, good night, good night.